Hello everyone and Happy New Year's! So, usually at the start of the year my current series are winding down, I'm getting ready to do new stuff for the new year, but uh, this year that's actually not happening for the first year out of my, well, two previous Januaries, I guess. Anyway, so uh, yeah, the only thing new is uh, actually headphones. I thought I'd actually just note this now, I got these new headphones, they look just like the old ones, only they're new because they actually have a detachable cord and actually one thing I found, there it's a bit, you, or I'm getting used to them still because of the ear pads on these ones, I actually still have padding and I used my old ones so much that the padding was just like all flat, like pressed down, so it sounded a lot loud, or sounded a lot louder at words because you know the padding was so worn and my ears were just closer to the actual speaker and the headphones or whatever you would call that, so yeah, new headphones. So, you'll probably be seeing them in videos coming up, so anyway. But, there's a few things I want to talk about, you know, just kind of like update to start off the year and things I've been thinking about, and since I came back for the past month or so, there have been a few things on my mind. So, yeah, that's kind of what I want to address. So, going through my notes, uh, yeah, instead of like focusing on new things on this channel to kick off the year, instead I'm going to be focusing on other channels. So usually I have done like uh, Ascension was last year's like Star Off, or not last year's, uh, 2014's. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just losing a bit track of years. But 2014 kind of kicked off with me working on Ascension. That was like the big new thing to start off the year. And for last year, 2015, it was Untamed Chaos. And for both of them, the projects got delayed a few months. So, you know. So for this year, you know, I don't have much new to do for the moment. Uh, the series will be changing eventually, but it's going to be later on in the year. Actually closer to spring, summer. So, more spring. Anyway. So yeah, but pretty much things are going to be continuing as normal, and uh, yeah. But my other channels are kind of where I want to push the new for the moment. I just want to work on growing this channel and kind of expanding a bit as the new, I guess. So that's what's up with that. And uh, streaming is another thing I want to talk about. Uh, I still would like to do it, but it won't be happening as often. I feel kind of bad because I did talk or try and promote the whole like Ascension streams over the holidays. Then I did one. But pretty much the reason was I was just a lot busier over the holidays than I thought trying to keep up with videos and just other stuff going on. And streaming can be kind of draining because like when I streamed that one Ascension stream afterwards my throat was sore and I just was kind of white for the rest of the day and didn't really have a lot of energy to like record or edit so it kind of really slowed down that sort of stuff. So I did actually plan to try and do a few more over the holidays but it just didn't work out. So, uh, yeah, going forward, I still want streams to happen, but not too often, because, I don't know, I enjoy streaming, but I think I enjoy videos more, and if streaming distracts me from videos or makes it a bit hard to keep up with things, I will do less streaming. I still like to stream and would like to try doing it maybe a few times a month or such, and I would like to stream other games like Old School RuneScape, because I have a channel for that, and you know, I want to do stuff with that, but it's also that I just don't always know what to stream. Because, you know, with Ascension, I finally do have something to stream, but like an old school RuneScape, I don't know really what I want to stream in there. But anyway, so pretty much I still do want to do streams in this year. I still would like to try and make that more of a thing, but I don't have any like consistent plan. I don't even want to commit to weekly at the moment. It's just when I feel up to streaming, I'll stream. Aside from that, I want to focus on making videos. So, yeah. But the main thing that I have been thinking about over the past month since I came back is cutting back. Because... I upload a fair amount. It's been kind of near daily, or pretty much I upload every weekday of the week and then usually one on the weekend. It could easily be two on the weekend, but i just been doing one for the moment. But uh, yeah. So I know that's just a lot of videos for the size of my channel, and it can be a bit hard for me to keep up at times, and I also worry that's a bit hard for some of you guys, my subscribers and viewers, to keep up. Because, you know, if I upload five videos a week and you have a busy week, you might not get to see all five, and then what happens next week if you're already behind sort of thing. So, and as someone who also watches a lot of videos, I get how it is when, you know, people upload a lot. And, you know, sometimes I've been falling behind on my YouTube feed of people with different Let's Plays and videos because I'm so busy making videos, I don't have time to watch their videos and that sort of stuff. So, you know, like I go out for a day. The other day, I actually went to see the new Star Wars with my dad. And, you know, I came back and I had just like 20 videos in my YouTube feed to watch. And just like, now I feel kind of behind, but still catching up from that. So, ah, no. But that's one reason I've been uh, thinking of cutting back. And the other reason is if I upload less, it gives me more time to work on other things. And it also makes it might help with channel growth because for the size of my channel, I think that having as many uploads as I do could be harmful in a sense. Like, 
you know, people might be interested, but they might not be interested in seeing five videos a week. So, I don't know. The only reason i kind of been really hesitating on cutting back is it would really drag out the current series. Like, I think it was for Everland, if I went to episode 20 and then cut it back to once a week, instead of ending in April, it would end in June, which is a huge difference for how long that would go on. So, I kind of came to a conclusion. Pretty much, um, I'm going to cut back, but after the current series end. And I think I just jumped ahead in my notes a bit, but it's okay. But, uh, yeah, so pretty much for Untamed and Everland, it'll be continuing at the current rate, three Untamed a week, two Everland a week. And then when those are over, for the next series I do, I'll probably cut back and go for less videos a week because, well, I'll explain that in a minute, but I don't know. There's a lot of reasons that I do want to cut back, and one of the main things now is I did a bit of math, so pretty much there are 160 hours in a week. Yes, this kind of math is what I did. So if I exclude 10 for sleep, shower, meals, and those sort of things, that still leaves 98 hours a week, which is a pretty good amount of time. Now, main videos like Untamed and Everland take around 60 to, uh, or 45 to 60 minutes to record, depending how the recording goes. I mean, some has ran a lot longer, but 45 is usually what I aim for recording to get like a 30 minute episode. So 45 to 60 and editing takes about the same amount of time as the recording length because, well, that's just kind of how that works. So pretty much on average, you can say the five main videos I do, the three Untamed and two Everland take about 10 hours a week to do. Which still leaves me with 88 hours. Now, that seems like it's not a lot of time, and I agree, that really does not seem like a lot of time. But, um, the thing that makes it take a lot more time than... Well, I also made a note that pretty much it looks like 88 hours still leaves me with a lot of time. That is over a third of a week, so... You know, just 10 hours does not seem like a lot when you really put in that perspective. I am excluding the other videos, like the mini games, because they're not as easy to measure constantly, same for the other channels. But, uh, yeah, so, still 88 hours, even saying 80 hours, assuming it's not 8 hours for all the other channel stuff, which is probably a bit over generous, is a fair bit of time spare for myself, so pretty much I think it's partially me and bad time management there, because I do kind of suck at that. I think the thing is, I kind of get tired of doing videos, or like, after I edit videos and record, I just want to take a break and relax, and I take a bit too long of a break, but I don't know. But I think the main thing that kind of throws off that is preparation. Because, especially for Untamed, there is a lot of stuff to do off camera. Like, after I spend uh, a day recording like three episodes, I can spend the next day, like the entire day, just watching videos and doing stuff off camera to prepare for next week. And sometimes it takes more than one day. And you know, like, stuff like building the tower, it just takes a lot of time. So I think that's the main problem. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do about that. Because, I don't know, it's kind of the thing where... If I stop doing that, then I won't have as much stuff prepared and the series will kind of slow down in that respect or I just won't have as good of videos because I don't have stuff prepared. So, I don't know, I guess that's something I just need to work on myself, doing the right balance of preparing stuff for future episodes and not, I guess, and just managing my time better. But, yeah, so pretty much I should be able to keep up with uh, the current pace of videos if I just manage my time better. The off-camera is kind of the hard part, not uh, more than the recording, but that's also what leads me to the thing I'll get to in a bit. And, uh, Everland. So, I realize it's not as popular as my other videos, and I kind of question what to do with that, because if you guys really are enjoying it, I don't want to keep putting it out. But aside for the moment, the best thing to do is keep going, because I'm really enjoying the game. And I know it still has some audience, even if it's not as big. I haven't seen a lot of people really saying they want me to stop the series. And I think the best thing to do, since I am not, like, really far into it, I'm not sure how far I am into it, because it was pretty much the estimate is it could go to episode 40, and I think episode 10 just went up, or has been the last episode I recorded and posted. So... You know, that's like one-fourth the series, but it could actually be a lot further. It depends how quick I progress, how much I cut sort of thing. So I think I'm at least a good third into the series, so I don't want to cut it or try changing it. I definitely do not want to cut it back to once a week, because then it'll slow down the series just so much that, you know, it'll drag out longer. And I don't want to drag out a series longer if people don't like it. I think it's better just to kind of keep at the current pace and kind of, I guess, push through it and get it done quicker than have it drag out longer and have another video as well kind of thing. Or I don't know, that's just kind of what I'd prefer. Because then it's kind of like spreading myself across a lot more things, but I'd rather just focus on Evil and Untamed for the moment. So yeah, as I kind of said earlier, I decided for the moment, instead of cutting back, I want to keep the schedule the same until the current series ends. Now, 
I decided for Untamed, and I will announce this in the next Untamed video, that it will end on episode 100. Because recently I have just passed episode 50 for the series, and you know, it's already going or about to shoot right past where Ascension was, my previous longest series, and it has no signs of slowing down yet. But I know I am starting to get closer to the end game and stuff, and I'm not sure how much longer there will be stuff in the series. I'm aiming for episode 100. If I really run out of stuff to do before then, well, I'll end it sooner. But at its current pace, episode 100 will be April 22nd, give or take. Uh, I might take a week off, might have other things come up, might end it before 100, but it should be around the end of April. Now, the projection for Evoland, assuming it is 40 episodes, and I think it might end up being less than 40, could be 35, could be 30, I don't know, but I have a feeling it's going to be less than 40 because I kind of overestimated that when I originally was preparing it. Uh, it would be April 14th, so pretty much both Evoland and Untamed should end around April. Evoland probably the start, uh, Untamed probably the end, but still. And if there is a gap there, I probably would do something like a demo dash or something to kind of make it so Untamed ends alongside another video, so it's not just like having to start another big series in Everland's place sort of thing. Because I did say I would do a Minecraft series between any game like Everland, and I probably would not do a game near as big as Everland if I do do another game after it. So, yeah. So, the reason I want to uh, cut back after these current series is just so they keep going at their current pace and, you know, it doesn't drag out longer because... I kind of do want to get to other mod packs or it's not that I'm not enjoying the current series. It's just I like having new things and, you know, new things also can help bringing new people and I don't know. But the main thing is after Untamed, I plan to do smaller mod packs. Now, I don't know exactly which packs, but they will likely be smaller. And when you do a smaller mod pack and when there's especially less off camera stuff, I don't need to do as many videos per week to kind of get through it. Like... If it's a 20 episode series, twice a week is 10 weeks. If I do three times a week, that's three weeks? Or no, I said 20, not 10. That's six weeks or seven weeks. So I don't know, it cuts out a few weeks, but you know, when the series itself has less to it or the mod pack has less to it and the series is shorter, I don't need as many videos per week to really get through it at a good pace still. I guess that's the main thing I'm trying to say here. So when I do do another series after Untamed, it's going to be smaller, so I think that's a good time to cut back to less videos per week. So then I can, we'll probably go back to the other schedule of like Monday, Friday is the main series, which will, actually, I'm thinking that after Untamed, it's going to be Void Shadows, because I do want to get back and finish that off, and I always did want to do something with it on my channel, because it is a pretty cool pack, even if it didn't win Jam Pack 2. I think it was the second one anyway. But, uh, yeah, I just don't think the 1.8 pack will be ready then. After Void Shadows ends, hopefully I can do a 1.8 pack. So, you know, hopefully it's going to be, like, in April, Untamed ends. Then it's going to be 10 weeks later or so, Void Shadows ends, and I start a 1.8 pack, and that should be awesome. I have more to mention on that after this, but, uh, I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And then the other series, like, uh, uh, Hardcore Skirmish, Demo Dash, uh, Map or map explorations, mod adventures, almost got those two backwards, will kind of be where Everland was. There's a few other games I did want to play like Everland, or not really like Everland, but in that same time slot, or upload, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking as far as uploads and series for this year. So at the start of the year, it's going to be pretty much the same, focusing on more expanding of other channels. And then later in the year, after Untamed and Everland end, I will be cutting back my uploads there. Just so hopefully it works better for me and the channel. Like I said, it's not just to give me more time and make things easier myself, but also because less videos should help the channel grow more. And that's kind of what I want to focus on this year, because I know there are some of you that do watch all my videos I upload, and I'm very grateful for that. But, you know, I would like to have a bigger audience and then, you know, maybe a year or two from now if I do decide to expand back to, you know, five videos instead of the three sort of thing or expand back to more videos, there'll be more people to watch them. So that's kind of the goal there. I don't know. I'm not sure how my channel will be in a few years from now or what I'll be doing. You know, I might need to cut back even more for other reasons, but we'll see how things go. But that's kind of my plan for the moment is... Keep the current pace for now, then cut back, and that'll give me more time and hopefully help the channel progress more, grow more, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, yeah, the final thing on my notes here, hopefully this vlog wasn't too long, it probably was, I always make long vlogs, is, uh, mod packs 1.8 stuff and those sort of things. So, um, for 1.8, I have been working on a mod pack, it's working titles Explorers, um, 
it will have a bit more to it than just that for the final title. But uh, yeah, for this pack, I actually have been learning uh, MBT data for Minecraft, which is the pretty much like the, I don't know what to describe it, kind of like the code stuff in Minecraft that makes you, or allows you to spawn things with enchantments and, you know, spawn a mob with different potion effects and stuff. And uh, yeah, it allows for a lot of cool things once you get into more complex stuff. Um, so far, it's actually been pretty easy to learn, or pretty much once I figured out its basic format, it was a lot similar to doing stuff like mob properties that I've already been doing. So, you know, it hasn't been uh, too tricky to figure that out, more or less. So, uh, yeah, but it will allow, allow for a lot of cool stuff because, uh, well, one quick example is Loot Plus Plus, the mod I use to customize chest loot that also does a lot of other things now. Um, I can spawn or I can set chest loot with MBT. So I can say you find a sword in the chest, but it's not just a normal sword. I can give it certain enchantments. I can give it special lore. I can do a lot of stuff that I could not do before now that I can figure out MBT. Or at least I'm pretty sure you can for chest loot. I know you can for other things. Our mind tweaker does it for uh, crafting. So you can craft items with encha or enchantments and stuff, which is actually something in the next Untamed update. I'll note that real quick. Um, well, it's also going to probably not this in the next Untamed episode, but I am working on the mod packs update. I know I try to say uh, version 1.4 would be out in, I think, December or even before that, but it keeps getting pushed back. But uh, recently I have been playing around with buffing the Ender Dragon because I'm getting ready to fight an Untamed and wanted to be a bit tougher, or the Let's Play of Untamed, I should say. And uh, yeah, I started playing around with some stuff using mob properties, uh, loot plus plus MBT and doing some cool effects, which is, I guess, kind of like practice for stuff I want to do in 1.8. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But uh, the 1.8 pack is kind of meant to get back to my roots of mod packs, so to speak, because I don't know, I've been doing a lot of mod packs, not as just much for fun and just cool mods like that's what my original mod pack was it just was a whole bunch of mods i thought were cool when i started modding i didn't really actually go and play mod packs i downloaded forge and just start installing mods on the forum sort of thing just playing with mods and finding ones i like and then when i made a mod pack i just kind of put all those mods together more or less and you know some didn't really work for balancing raising and such so it wasn't just like all the mods i like but it was a pack of things that were more fun than just making a pack around a theme i guess and that's kind of what I want to get back to with Explorers. So in that sense, it's actually more of a successor to uh, the Venturescape series or a mod pack, which I did do a, a mod adventure on a while back. And Venturescape was what Ascension was based off. So Explorers is not a sequel to Ascension. It's more of a sequel to the thing Ascension was based on, Venturescape. So I don't know. But the mod pack itself is focused more on like structures and exploring than adventuring and bossing like Ascension was. Uh, pretty much you're just on a lot of boss mods currently for 1.7 and none I've seen for 1.8 So I've kind of changed things up there, but I don't know it's put or one uh, the 1.8 pack explorer should be a lot of fun It's gonna have a lot of custom stuff and pretty much just a playground for me to try a whole bunch of new things and prepare stuff and and then when 1.9 comes out, I actually would like to do the actual sequel to Ascension, uh, Transcendence, and hopefully the stuff I learned from the 1.8 pack will help me make it out even better too. So, I don't know. But it should be fun. I'm still, it's still in the early stages, but I am working on a 1.8 mod pack. It's more like adventure exploring theme than how Untamed is, so it's kind of back to what uh, I think a lot more people know me for. And, uh, modded and let's play sort of thing, or mod packs and let's plays. So, I don't know. But anyway, that should be fun. It has a lot of stuff. The MBT stuff is really cool from what I've seen. And I think that's really all I have to say. So pretty much, uh, so yeah, sorry if that was a bit of an odd cut there, but I kind of jumbled and need to redo this outro. So uh, yeah, um, that's about it for this update vlog. So pretty much has a quick little summary. Uh, there's nothing new at the start of this year for this channel. I kind of want to focus a bit more on promoting the other channels and getting them with content than doing new stuff here. But once the current series, Untamed and Neverland, end, I want to actually cut back on videos for the new series just to make it a bit easier for the viewers and for myself. So uh, that's kind of my plans. And I'm working on a 1.8 mod pack, which you'll probably hear more about eventually. So um, yeah. Anyway, uh, hopefully... Uh, or anyway, hopefully you all had a happy new year, and uh, thank you all for watching this update vlog, and until next time, goodbye.